Time sure flies, huh? The show is almost over, and you'll be able to go back to your regular life soon. Why the f*** you lying? Why you always lying? Alright, Tara. Woo, you guys, it's a tough battle. I knocked on the door to the games room. Bro, I had Tara winning this hands down. But now Scarlet is like MVP of the show right now. Hey, funny, what's up, girl? What is the battery life on that PSP? God damn. I thought I'd check it and see how you're doing with your game. It's a farming game. Oh snap, farming simulator. I had to ditch the pigeon dating idea after, well, finding out it was already done. That's really a shame for the whole world, really. Psych! But in this game, you get to live in a village out in the country, make friends, raise crops, and decimate all the invaders with your giant mecha pigeon death what is with the pigeons tara what, what is your fascination with pigeons baby enough talk try playing it do i actually get to play it i want to see how you feel about it bro if they actually let me play this game all right here we go the title screen displayed with a click star blue valley I was a mecha poly who got tired of life in a mecha corp and decided to move out to the country to become a farmer. A few moments later. First, wow. What you have so far is incredible, Tara. You think so? Yeah, really, it's incredible. I never thought you could combine farming and being a mecha poly in the same game, but you did it just fine. There's just one thing I think that was a little off. What's that? Any feedback would be great. I feel like the relationships with the townspeople were a little weird. The dating aspects didn't really feel right. Ah, I knew you noticed that. It's kind of embarrassing, but I've never actually dated before, so I have no idea what it's really like. And to be honest, I've never had a real friend either. Oh my god. <laughs> they know how to hit you in the chest cavities. God damn. If it's not too much to ask. Her voice suddenly reduced to a whisper. Maybe you and I could be friends? We need to no move problem. Lonzo. That ain't no problem. Huh? That ain't no problem. Tara, baby. I'd be honored to be your friend. Come on, Sean. Stop playing with me. We in there. That said. Please don't trap me in a video game again. I'm sorry, what? I was feeling too restless after today's date to wait in my room, so I went for a walk downstairs. Oh, hey funny. I was just about to go up to check in on you. Yo, cat was good when you in the kitchen. What you feeling? Huh? There were some fancy desserts here from last week but I can't find them anymore. Guess I'll take that out on the brother's fives. <laughs> you just gonna take it out there and paycheck, bro? What if they had nothing to do with that? It's a setup. They're like clockwork. Allie. My, Allie, what you? She gonna run off, she gonna run off. Allie looked like a deer in headlights on the other end of the kitchen. Cat hadn't seen her yet. Oh, I ain't gonna snitch though, I ain't gonna snitch. Allie, you Go, 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 I got your back, baby. She made direct eye contact with me, then hightailed it out. Damn. Anyway, I've been meaning to talk to you. It's a shame. Go ahead and take out that paychecks, bro. Anyway, you're probably safe for at least another day. Thanks to the ongoing rivalry between Tara and Scarlet. The stakes are rising, and so are our precious ratings. So without further ado, it's time for phrase up. Uh, that up it's time for phase three you've only got one date left with each of them before the final day what that's so quick bro well i need to get back to preparing for tomorrow's show see you later funny good night cat and thanks for the help i realize i'd probably be screwed without you don't thank me yet why she got it come on cat time to get some shut eye all right Right off the mansion. Next stop, the beach. I told you the staff wouldn't suspect a thing. That's because nobody's been stupid enough to try to escape till now. 
Maybe people should have been a little more stupid a little sooner. She grabbed my hand and pulled me along. We'll go through the forest. Come on. We ran through the forest as if the devil were chasing us. The truth was not far from it. Okay, I can see the pier now and the boat. We're this close to getting out of here. She always put on her bravest face when she was afraid. We're gonna make it, right? Of course, that boat's just a little further and no one's on our tail. Ah, can't believe it. We're finally getting out of here. We're finally, we're finally gonna leave, funny. It's about time if you ask me. I wouldn't have stayed sane if it weren't for you though. She laughed, that was my favorite sound. We both know that this is where the rubber meets the road. Yeah, now it's just a mad dash to the finish. You ready to run? No. I'm kidding, let's go. That favorite sound of mine once more. I hope it's not the last time I hear it. Yep, I was not ready. The girls and I kicked off our morning by testing out Tara's game together. Morning, cat. Time sure flies, huh? The show is almost over, and you'll be able to go back to your regular life soon. Why the f you lying? Why you always lying? I start up the game. Moments later, I saw Tara's avatar run up to me. As if on cue, giant robotic pigeons flew from the sky and started to attack our avatars, bro. What is the lore behind Terra and, these, and this pigeon fascination? Ah! Run for my, bro, we better, we fighting them pigeons, bro. Get the mech. Let's put in work. Fight the pigeons. I ran towards the pigeons, preparing for the fight of a lifetime. Don't worry, I got you. See, Terra, a real one. Terra pulled out a giant can of pigeon repellent and started blasting away. Whoa. I think something's bugged. It's not working at all. I beg your pardon? I beg your pardon? What you mean it's not working? Is that our only line of defense? I guess I gotta fix that. You think? While Tara was laughing at her own mistake, I was being lifted into the sky by the pigeons. No, not like this. Tara, baby, not again with the pigeons. Not like this. Uh, I think I'm screwed. Where are these pigeons taking me? I tried to move my avatar, but there was no way to resist the death grip of the robo pigeon. Don't worry, they're about to fly into the territory of the maple syrup dragon. Huh? The what? The maple syrup slammed into the pigeons and forcefully stuck their wings together. As a consequence, they started to fall to the ground at breakneck speed. <gasps> Save me, I didn't, I hadn't saved yet. Save me, I hadn't saved yet. Okay, that was a tongue twister for no reason. Ah, I, I knew I forgot something. I forgot to add the ability to save. Oh, you mother- I have to write that down. As Tara took notes, I rapidly fell to my doom. I'm happy for you, but if you could just for a minute, my avatar smacked into the ground. Pigeon first and instantly died on impact. Is there at least a respawn mechanic? I've never died before in this game. Of course. Just hit the retry button. I pressed the button and watched the world around me reset to the village. Except now the village seemed 10 times bigger than before. Wait, when did the village get so big? And then it dawned on me. Wait, it's not the village that got big. Oh no. Oh. Not again. Please don't tell me she done turned me into a pigeon again, bruh. I got small. I took a more careful look at my avatar. I was a pigeon again. I knew it. I knew this. At the same time, Tara was giggling like a child. Oh, you think it's funny, bitch? There's uh, one last thing I want to test out, if that's okay. Will it end with me getting turned into a pigeon again? No. Uh oh, it just come with me. I followed her avatar to the cabin we shared in the woods. Sound like the start of a horror movie. When we got there, she turned around, walked up to me, 
and held out an item I have never seen before. She walked up to me and gave me an item called Ring of You're Pretty Cool. Mm. Yeah, that's that's the one. That's the nugget that hit. That's the one, bruh. Um, let me try to explain. I came onto this show with no idea of what it was about. Personally, I thought it was stupid at first, but hanging out with you has been so much fun. I've never really got to work on my hobbies with anyone till I met you. Honestly, I've never had someone to share all my crazy shit with, but you, you're different. So I guess what I'm trying to say is you're pretty cool and I hope we can keep doing this even after the show is over. <laughs> Bro, I love you. Oh, gosh, you don't make me cry. I love you, bro. We laughed together, then walked back to the mansion with a spring in our step. We played the day away without a care in the world. Well, that's enough gaming for today. You up for a movie date? Where are you trying to watch? It's a Hitchcock film. I've always wanted to see it. What's it called? The Birds. <laughs>